collect for today, which is the second Sunday of Easter, the first Sunday after Easter Sunday, is as follows. God of mission, you raise Jesus Christ as the firstborn of the dead. By your Holy Spirit, empower us to witness to him, so that those who have not yet seen may come to believe in him who was and is and is to come, and who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Our first reading today comes from the book of Acts, chapter 2, beginning at verse 14. In this reading, Peter is addressing the crowd. Fellow Jews and all of you who live in Jerusalem, let me explain this to you. Listen carefully to what I say. Men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth was a man accredited by God to you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which God did among you through him, as you yourselves know. This man was handed over to you by God's set purpose and foreknowledge, and you, with the help of wicked men, put him to death by nailing him to the cross. But God raised him from among the dead, freeing him from the agony of death, because it was impossible for death to keep its hold on him. David said about him, I saw the Lord always before me, because he is at my right hand. I will not be shaken. Therefore my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will live in hope. Because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You may have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. Brothers, I can tell you confidently that the patriarch David died and was buried, and his tomb is here to this day. But he was a prophet, and knew that God had promised him an oath, that he would place one of his descendants on his throne. Seeing what was ahead, he spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that he was not abandoned to the grave, nor did his body see decay. God was raised... God has raised this Jesus to life, and we are all witnesses of the fact. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen to the good news proclaimed in the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 20, beginning at the 19th verse. Glory, Glory to, to Christ, Christ our, our Saviour. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the disciples were together, with the doors locked for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After he said this, he showed them his hands and sighed. The disciples were overjoyed when they saw the Lord. Again Jesus said, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, I am sending you. And with that he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive anyone their sins, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. Now Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with the disciples when Jesus came. When the other disciples told him that they had seen the Lord, he declared, Unless I see the nail marks in his hands and put my finger where his nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not believe it. A week later, his disciples were in the house again and Thomas was with them. Though the doors were locked, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, see my hands, reach out your hand and put it into my side. Stop doubting and believe. Thomas answered, my Lord and my God. 
Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet believed. Jesus did many other miraculous signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not recorded in this book. But these are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. This is the Gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to, to Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord.